่ามาละอ่าเรามาพบกับผมอีกครั้งนะฮะกับตัวยอฟดินพันเอ้ยตัวยอฟนะฮะเกมมิ่งกับเกมแอสซีนอดซีออดิซีออดิซีนะฮะจะบอกมาไปทีนะนี่ก็เป็นพาร์ทที่เจ็บแล้วมังพูดถึงงานเกมที่จบไปนะฮะก็มีหลายๆอย่างเกิดขึ้นเออซึ่งผมเองก็ไม่ได้ไปหรอกนะแต่ว่าคนที่จะไปก็ได้สัมผัสกับตัวงานหลายๆอย่างนะฮะกับเกมใหม่ๆมีกรรมเยอะๆเลยเดี๋ยวนั้นครับรู้สึกว่าจะมีอะไรทางบันไดก็ไปด้วยเออเนี่ยก็เปิดตัวจำฟอสมีระบบภาคภาษาไทยด้วยนะฮะซึ่งกำหนดการวางจำหน่ายก็คุมาพันปีหน้าเออหน้าเล่นเหมือนกันนะส่วนตอนนี้ครับคลิปเกมใหม่ๆ Soul c a l i b u r หรือ Soul Calibur ก็มีเพิ่ม DLC ตัวใหม่แล้วนะฮะกับคูบีจากเนอร์อตอมาตานะน่าสนน่าสนจากเป็นเกมที่เคยมองข้ามนะฮะมาต่อคราวที่แล้วผมฆ่าพวกลัทธิในหนึ่งตัวซึ่งกระตูนนี้ฮอกกี้โตสเออเดอะคีเอเดอะเกตฮีโร่เอาเดอะคัทอ๋อพวกนี้มันเป็นฮีโร่เอาเดอะอ๋อฮีโร่ของลัทธิน่าจะเป็นสายเวทมนต์สายต่อสู้พวกนักสู้น่าจะเป็นพวกนักสู้ตัวนี้ครับผมผมเพิ่งกดมาโอเชฟเฟิร์ตเดอะออฟเดอะบัตไลน์โปรไซเลือดเองฆ่าตัวหนึ่งแล้วบอกใส่ตัวหนึ่งจะโผล่บางตัวมันก็ไม่โผล่ใจแกนการโกดของคอสมอสเร็วสิบเก้าอืมมีเพชรอะไรให้มันมั่งไหมเนี่ยไปดูเพชรก่อนให้ตั้งหารไอออฟคอสมอสหกตัวหกคนเนี่ยมันจะได้ชุดนี่ให้สังหารโมชิปพอเซตมันเองอัปเกรดไปแล้วต้องใช้อีกสองแล้วไปหาด้วยกันเ
ายอย่างง่ายๆ This area will be well defended ตีอยู่นี่นะมีแต่ทับอะตีโต้เหรอทับป้าใครเนี่ยมั่ง
They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. What the?
ไม่เห็นไงสมุกติ๊กแมว
จังหวะอยู่ดี
<laughs> ไอ้ผู้วัวจาวอยู่นู่นทำไงดีไม่มีสกิลแล้วเ
Yeah. What was that? I aren't going to like that. If we were down, you need. มันต้องใส่ก็ไปเข้ามาดูเนาะต้องให้กูเข้าไปหาใช่ไหมเ
and my crew. You're a sailor at heart, just like me. Let's ride. Yeah. Shit. Uh. 
pega primeiro. ตัวนี้อีกแล้วแล้วกันเราบอกให้ครบเดี๋ยวเราจะทำธุรกิจกันแล้ว
ไปทำภารกิจกันมิสซิโอตดิเทลเป็นพระองค์ที่ส่งคุณมาที่นี่ฉันจะไม่ได้ทำให้คุณตายถ้ามันเป็นคุณฉันไม่คิดว่าพวกเขาจะทำให้คุณตายแต่เขาจะเสียชีวิตฉันขอบคุณฉันทุกอย่างฉันจะทำให้คุณเจ็บปวดฉันรักคุณมากแต่ฉันไม่ได้ทำให้คุณตายฉันจะทำให้คุณเจ็บปวดฉันรักคุณมากแต่ฉันไม่ได้ทำให้คุณตายฉันจะทำให้คุณเจ็บปวดฉันรักคุณมากแต่ฉันไม่ได้ทำให้คุณตายฉันจะทำให้ Dragged me here, tied me up, and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick, to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. 
that I should die by my own kind. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Part of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes? Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. <laughs> Snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Metiochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. You've crossed a line. Now you must pay the price. We will never surrender to the likes of you. We will make Athens great again. The corrupt will be snuffed out one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rid Athens of this snake seller.
You'll feel the sting of my venom. I'll end you, Mistios. Friends of Pericles safe. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I gave them what the gods demanded. Justice. The punishment seems fair. Still, it pains me to see sons and daughters of Athens turning against one another. They tried to kill you. If I hadn't arrived when I did, they would have succeeded. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention it to Pericles. That's everything Pericles wanted. I'm to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother.
Sandra, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am! How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well... I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye.
You just got here. You can't leave already. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> <laughs> It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy but for love. <laughs> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, 
Then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Irodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I thought this party was tame even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out of oil again. Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen. But Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked. Mm, it sounds so good when you say it. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. If you don't get the oil soon, all our fun will end. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is... Every Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. 
I'm every pivis. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every pivis likes to say. Don't you every pivis? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <laughs> I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive, foreigner. Evripides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pides, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pides. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pides and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I... Perhaps one drink. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? 
Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breathing, and vulgar manners. To Dionysus. This, this is delicious. This is nectar of the gods. Another round. How about some more? Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say, good wine makes good friends. Ready for another? This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. <laughs> Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to... Join us. Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Theatera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. 
when you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? You just got here. You can't leave already. Of course, I only use the terms war or God or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense? Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I'll change the subject again. I'm looking for someone. A Spartan woman. Spartan? Hopefully she's dead in the gutters. It's better than those mongrels deserve. I wonder if you found the woman, even if you saw her with your own eyes, would you believe her existence to be true? This is getting nowhere. Forget it. If you don't want to discuss that, then what? If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. This has been useless. Here. Thank you for your help, my friend. There's much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon. Ah, 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 ah,
<laughs> How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every this won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. I admit, I'm surprised to see you here, but everything has a price, as you said. I can't help but wonder what price you paid to gain entry to the symposium. Keep wondering. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. I'd be more comfortable in these clothes if I had a blade in my hand. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. Come on, 
I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. <laughs> Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Why send a Matiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodotos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. 
I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra!
ามาไพเลตดรไพเลตสมาชิกบอกว่ามีข่าวไปยังบอร์ดคุณมาจากเมืองที่มีคนเชื่อเพราะว่าต้นหน่อยนึงก็วิ่งไปไวจนเท่ามาขอบคุณมากนะครับขอบคุณมากนะครับขอบคุณมากนะครับ
I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Cassandra. Well, Cassandra. We're all thought to be murderers, too. So, tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Why did you need so much Drachmi? I have a city to secure and people to protect. I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. <laughs> I don't have that kind of Drachmi. I find that surprising, given your profession. What proof do I have that you'll even find her? I already know Merini. How do you know that name? That's not all I know. Getting that much Drachmi won't be easy. You have a ship and a crew? That's enough to find work here in Coresia. And there is a stockpile of Drachmi held in the fort on the far side of the island. You want me to steal from your island? The other locals aren't too happy about us pirates. Their leader has amassed a fortune. If they have no Drachmi, they can't do anything stupid. Don't worry. As long as you're working for me, you're one of us. Trust a pirate to only help for a boatload of Drachmi. If I'm going to pay her, I need to find some work on this island. It should be much easier to travel the island now that everyone won't try to kill me on sight. Xenia and her crew really destroyed the place. If they burn everything, how do they expect to keep the people quiet? Thought she'd know better by now. I mean, how hard is it to take a merchant ship and get to Thera and back? 
Still, Xenia could have used that Miltos. The Drachmi would have been helpful in her fight against. Something we can help you with? Yeah. You were talking about the shipment. We weren't saying nothing. Nothing that concerns you, anyway. You were, and I want to know more. Yeah, don't really care what you want. You'd better tell me about that Miltos shipment. Don't have to tell you shit. Don't even try it. We're under Xenia's protection here, like everyone else. Go on. Get out of here. If it's worth money, I'll find it. They said the ship was on its way to Thera. I'm troubled. I'm trying to steal Xenia a great treasure to celebrate her victory over Chaos, but the directions have been stolen. And I suppose you want someone to steal them back. I tried, but they were stolen by the leader of Coresia who Xenia banished from the city. There's a new truce between them, but no pirate would touch that. Lucky for you, I'm no pirate. Are you saying you'll help me? There's something in it for you if you do. I suppose I could get your directions. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last! So where am I going? To the other side of the island. You'll find the tablet in the leader's house there. Once you have it, head to the nearby village of Poisa and deliver it to my associate. You said the leader's house is near Piesa? Yes, to the south of the village. Where is Piesa? It's on the east coast of the island of Chaos. Don't worry, I'll get what you want. Xenia will be thrilled! I await your return! What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need repair, three broken oars on the top level, two on the second level, cracked spar. Ah, oh, never a day's rest by Zeus. Feel free to take a look.
enjoying your day, Mistios. Tuto adi bonestin. The mighty not Spartan returns. Here, take your drachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finnecas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Finicas. There have to be people who know that name. Clues, but this won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. All we can do now is trust the path the gods have laid out for us. I'm not the only one looking for my mother. Because they wanted Nicola instead. They're also a mighty Ah, oh, they're no match for you. You got that right.
there's the shipwreck. And there's the Miltos. <laughs> Well, wait here, Commander! Now, I know the situation doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. We're fucking maroon. Can't blame me for the rocks. You're the captain. By the gods, help me. Thank you. Knowingly or not, you've just saved my life. And was it worth saving? Get me back to Chaos, and I'll pay you handsomely. We'd better get you to my ship, then.
Adios. Sure. Then you will be angry that I don't have the Miltos. And I cannot have it that. Why is the Miltos so important? What kind of pirate are you? It's nearly as valuable as gold!
the water! Come on! Oh, Replace those who've fallen! We spotted some salvage! They're speeding up for a hit, Commander! Ah! Increase speed! Enemy fire imminent! Enemy ships grounded! If there's a map, it's in there.
much to do, and many unknowns in our prison. Careful not to get spotted. There's much to do, and many unknowns in our lives.
The Tarsis. That's not what I expected. The Tarsis. Mm, I thought I lost you this time. Where is your ship? <sighs> the ship is gone, but he's alive. And you think his life is worth a ship? Ships can be rebuilt. A life cannot. You spent too much time with the Athenians. Malaka. What's important is that you're alive, brother. He's your brother? It would be easier if he wasn't. What happened to the crew? Those dogs turned on me. If it wasn't for this Mystios... He would be dead. Then you will be rewarded, Mystios. The 
Gotarzis promised a reward. A substantial one, if I remember it right. Pay her then. Me? But you're the one who... Fine. Come with me, stupid ah, brother. Thank you, good. Cassandra. Family is family, <laughs> and for his life, I thank you. โอเคครับเดี๋ยวผมขอหยุดการสตรีมไว้แค่นี้ก่อนนะฮะไว้การครั้งหน้าสตรีมครั้งหน้าแล้วผมจะมาเล่นใหม่ตอนนี้ก็ขอยุติการสตรีมไว้เพียงเท่านี้นะฮะขอบคุณที่ติดตามรับชมนะฮะ